Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we're going to have to talk about the RTX 380 as well as the RTX 390, and the recent issues with crashes that both of these GPUs have been having recently, which is exactly the sort of thing that will make someone very unhappy after they've spent hundreds of dollars on them. But I do at least have some good news on this matter, as a German PC gaming news website called Igor's Lab appears to have discovered the root cause of the problem. Having said that though, if you've bought one of these cards then that is unfortunately where the good news ends, because the issue appears to be mainly one of the hardware itself, specifically some of the capacitors that are being used on these cards, as apparently some of the manufacturing companies decided to try to cheap out on the capacitors that they put in, and as a result have inadvertently made the cards unstable, especially at clock rates over 2 GHz. And as further proof, Igor's lab even took it upon themselves to replace one of the cheaper capacitors with the more advanced types, and saw the stability of their GPU improve greatly as a result. And that really says it all, doesn't it? As the ad hoc improvisation on display here still manages to be more reliable than professionally manufactured products straight from the factory. But there is one important detail I have to mention, as this is a problem that is only affecting certain RTX 380s and 390s. As while some manufacturers decided to try to cheap out in making the cards, others did not. And even more interesting is the fact that EVGA itself admits that this has been a known problem for quite some time as well, even resulting in delays for that matter. Now hopefully, the specific companies that decided to try to cheap out will manage to rectify the problem relatively quickly. Although having said that, they've already soured the reputation of the RTX 380 and 390 by doing this. And to be honest, I can't in good faith blame anyone one that would decide to hold off this year on buying a new GPU. I can only imagine how infuriating it would be to spend $1,500 on a 390 only to face a barrage of stability issues because the manufacturers decided to gimp your particular GPU. Having said all that though, if you are desperate to try to get yourself a brand new graphics card and want to try to navigate this particular minefield to try to find one that actually works properly, someone on Reddit has at least done the legwork for you, and I will of course be providing a link to their post in the description below. In addition, I will of course also be providing a link to the Igor's Lab article so you can read that as well, and in addition I'll be providing a link to another article that shows the EVGA statement. Like I said before, hopefully this matter gets fixed soon, and hopefully there aren't any more issues with the hardware itself, but I do believe it is at least a good idea to be wary of these cards for at least a few months. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.